Greetings, people of YouTube. This is MKN Forever Tony once again, and uh, you know I'm just I just thought I'd make this really quick review because I just finished watching a movie that came highly recommended to me from my friends here on YouTube. You know, and, and of course Jeffrey as well too, even though he's not here on YouTube. And um, I just and this movie, the movie that I'm going to be reviewing right now is uh, the 1988. Uh, remake of The Blob, directed by Chuck Russell, uh, stars Kevin Dillon, Shawnee Smith, uh, you know, good, uh, you know, it's got a solid cast, you know, and um, anyway, what are my thoughts on, it? what are my thoughts on this movie? Now, uh, my thoughts on this movie, since I just finished watching it, I got... I got a couple words that pretty much sum up my uh, feelings about the movie. Good effing movie. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding. This movie was awesome. I mean, really solid movie. You know, one of Chuck Russell's, if if not his best, one of his best uh, movies ever. You know, I mean, this and this movie. Well, well I want to get into the plot, but I want to keep this review short. So uh, I'm gonna. I mean, I want to get into the plot, but I mean, I don't, I mean, pretty much every, all my friends on here know about the blob, so I don't have to go into the plot. This is really more of a reaction type video, so, uh, and, uh, and, uh, well, this is pretty much my reaction, you know, to this movie, you know, and, uh, my feel, i never seen the original 1958 movie, right off the bat, i never seen it, but, um, this movie, the remake, is pretty good. Uh, for a movie, you know, uh, for for a remake anyway, and it it's movies like this that were done in 1988 that make you f wonder how much remakes suck today. Well, not all the not all remakes suck. I'm not gonna get on the whole I hate remakes boat because I mean I tried to get in, it was full. <laughs> but um, you know that you know this movie is a good remake. That's all I'm saying, and um. You know, and I, what can I say about this movie? It's a really solid movie. I, I I really enjoyed this movie. It was just, you know, very solid, you know, especially Kevin Dillon. You know, I mean, I, I've seen this guy do a bunch of stuff. He was, uh, Kevin Dillon, of course, we know him from, a lot of people know him from Entourage, you know, which personally I'm not crazy about that show because he's a good part of the show, I will admit, but they underuse him. They give him nothing to do. You know, so, I mean, Kevin Dillon, he's a good actor. He's, uh, I've seen him in Poseidon. He was good in Poseidon. I kind of like Poseidon. I know some people may not care for Poseidon, but I care for Poseidon. And, um, you know, so he's, it's good to see him there, you know. And this one, he plays, uh, this character named Brian Flagg. You know, this kind of, like, troublesome character. He did a good job with this character, you know. I, I felt for this character. I was rooting for this character. Then of course we also have the female lead, you know, this uh who's played by Shawnee Smith, you know, her name, she plays this girl named Meg Penny. I believe her name was Meg Penny. And um you know, Shawnee Smith, we've seen her I've seen her a bunch of stuff over the years. She's been in of course in the Saw movies. I've seen her in those. And uh I believe she was in The Island, you know, that Michael Bay movie, which again, people don't care for, but I care for. But I don't think it's a such a crappy movie. But Shawnee Smith, she's you know she's pretty hot. You know, she's this attractive you know female lead. You know, she's a strong female lead too, which kind of makes her even hotter. You know, so um, you know she and this one she she was good. You know, she was a strong female lead. You know, I respect that. I like that. And of course, we have a bunch of other people who make an appearance on this movie as well. You know, they're not the only leads. You know, we um, one of the people that I uh, right away recognized was one of was a deputy. Who, uh, Bill was, I, I believe his name was Bill Briggs. If you don't, if for those of you who remember in, in the movie, that's the name, Deputy Bill Briggs. But he's played by this guy named Paul McCrane. I recognize him from RoboCop. You know, he's, uh, Emil, I think his name is, you know. You're dead! We killed you! You know, that guy. You know, so I recognize him. He was in good, he was good in this, you know. He was, uh, 
he plays a deputy, you know, so it's kind of like a switch, personally, you know. He did a good job here, you know, for what he had to do. And, um, you know, this, this, I, I know people are wondering when I'm going to get into the plot. Now, I wish I could get into the plot, but like I said, it's kind of a real pain in the ass to edit all these, because I'm editing this in episodes, you know, minute per minute per minute per minute. That's my, that's why my voice keeps changing. But I want to get into the plot, but I want to keep this review very simple, you know. So, very quick. So, it, tell you what, you know, it, the movie is on here on YouTube, so you can just go watch it on your own. You know, I, I mean, watch it on your own, and you'll see what I'm trying to say, you know. I mean, this movie is really solid. You guys have to watch this. It, it's on YouTube, so you guys can watch it for free, you know. Just look up The Blob 1998, uh... Part one, and it'll show up right there, you know. So, you know, I encourage you to go watch this. You know, if you have some time to kill, please watch it, please. You know, so I may not get into the plot in this one, you because you know, like I said, it's a pain in the ass to edit all this together. So, I'm just gonna just kind of like a reaction video, you know. So, I mean, this, the rating for this film, I can't find nothing wrong with it. You know, I mean the so the cast is solid. You know, the direct uh, the director Chuck Russell, same director brought us the Scorpion King, Eraser, The Mask, uh Nightmare on Elm Street three, The Dream Warriors, you know. He was good, you know, he's a he's a good director, you know, Chuck Russell he's, he always delivers as a director. You know. Even with Scorpion King. I enjoyed Scorpion King. Man, um so the rating for this film if pushed, I would have to give it basically a ten out of ten. I mean, I just can't find a, anything wrong with this movie. It just it delivers as a movie, you know. It it I mean, and directors nowadays should sit down, watch this movie, and take notes because this is how remakes should be done. You know, you bring something new to the table while still remaining true to the source, and that's what this movie did. It brought something new and fresh but at the same time you stay true to the original at least from what I hear and you know so this movie it's a solid movie you please watch it it's on YouTube like I said anyway this is MKM forever Tony sign off later <laughs>